exciting news today out of the United Kingdom where electric vehicles are just starting to take more and more market share at an exponential pace. If we just compare the February numbers from 2021 over to 2022, if we look at the row here where it says BEV, battery electric vehicle, it has tripled. 2021 in February, there were 3,500 battery electric vehicles sold. 2022, there were 10,417, representing a 196% change year over year. Market share has also almost tripled from 6.9% to 17.7%. And if you'll notice, the diesel and the petrol at the top here, interestingly enough, have lost market share year over year. Hmm. This might be a trend. Now here's a breakdown of the best-selling cars here. Now the Model Y is the fourth best-selling car despite only being launched in the UK for the last week of the month of February. So all these other cars were selling for four times as long. So if you multiply these numbers out, you could probably quadruple the Tesla Model Y sales and they're selling 5,200 cars which is probably 50% or more of everything on this list here going to Tesla. So we'll see in March for sure, but here's my prediction. Come March, Tesla Model Y will be the best-selling car in the UK by a far margin. You know, people keep saying that, oh, other car companies can compete with Tesla. Other phone companies could compete with Apple. How has that worked out in the last decade? <laughs> I should. <laughs> Oh, uh, got him. <laughs> but seriously, I'm going to look back in a month and we'll see what the March sales are for Tesla. They've got another thing working in their favor, which we'll get to in a minute, that will help them sell even more cars all throughout Europe. But just think about that for a second. So let's fast track to next month when the Model Y sales have quadrupled because they're selling for four times as long. You're talking 5,200 Model Ys and another 1,200 Model 3s. So you're talking 6,500 versus all the other cars here on this list combined. And we already have the case study to prove this. If we take a look at Norway's numbers, you know, this is a country that was much quicker to get on board with the electric future here. And as you can just see year over year, zero emission cars made up 64% of the market versus in 2020, it was 52%, which is way higher than anywhere else in the world, but they're increasing rapidly. And as you can see, these are the November sale numbers. What are the two best selling cars there? Tesla's and by a far margin. I mean, Tesla is selling as many cars there as the next three best selling cars combined. And when you add to all this that the Tesla Gigafactory Berlin is getting closer and closer to officially opening, it's gotten approval now, but the battle is not quite over yet. But we're definitely getting close to the finish line. Another good sign, as you can see from this tweet out of the German government in Brandenburg, today the state office for the environment issued the permit for the Tesla factory in Brandenburg, and it's moving on to the next phase. And just looking here, this is the amount of binders and hoops you had to jump through just to try and save the world. Why are they making saving the world this hard? I mean, uh, you know, I understand that there, there's regulations in place, but this seems a bit excessive. I mean, just look at the thousands and thousands of pages. You, you guys want to save the environment. How many trees did you kill to print out all this garbage? I mean, this just slows down innovation. But well, that's just a whole other story. Elon Musk replied, I would like to thank you very much. The future is very exciting. I can't get over how many binders they made them go through in here. I mean, seriously, what could possibly be in 100 binders that are five inches thick each just to try and save the world? Who would think it's so hard? Was this like one of those things that could have been sent in an email instead <laughs> tldr can we get some bullet points <laughs> but anyway the point is look at that beautiful model y oh can't wait to buy one uh the point is tesla's got berlin coming soon and that will take away their need to you know export lots of cars from elsewhere from shanghai and wherever they're coming from they can build them in europe it'll get their profit margins higher it'll get them to the customers faster the more people are going to see how awesome these tesla cars are in europe they're going to leave the competition in the dust if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This is Vinny from The Investment Club, and I'll see you next time.